guys. I just wanted to let you know um, I haven't been posting in a while. But um, some of the people in my previous video of the two stroke blow up, um, some people asked me why did the engine sound so horrible and why did the, it blow up so horrible. The reason why it did is because they had a governor, it had a governor on it. And uh, we tied it up and put non two stroke gas in it. So what happened was it was creating friction inside. It's creating friction inside and um, it got so hot that it started to sound weirdly. And what, what, what happened is the crankcase in the bottom of the engine got too hot. So the connecting rod broke. Broke on that and that's how, that's how it blew up. And that's why it sounded so crappy because it didn't have the right fuel in it. Um, another thing um, about some advice I want to give some people is um, when you have a two-stroke engine and you're not running it, don't crank it over if you're not going to run it because the gas inside has oil in it and that's what two-strokes get their lubrication from. But uh, yeah, if you keep if you keep revving it, and, I mean trying to start it and start it and start it, you're going to create friction and it's going to lock up eventually. Um, that's why you, I, I, for me personally, I rather use non-ethanol two-stroke gas, just because the carburetors and stuff love non-ethanol. They run a lot better. They stay intact a lot better. Um, what I mean by that is that they don't clog up as fast as much as ethanol gas. Um, and uh, I mean, you could take regular two-stroke gas in it with the ethanol, but I, me myself, I prefer the non-ethanol just because of that and for four stroke engines they could basically run on anything but I rather I ran I run no ethanol in that one as well because um, some of the four stroke engines in lawnmowers their carburetors are plastic Briggs and Stratton is a good example for that some of the engines are plastic and um, I mean not engines I'm sorry but uh, the plastic carburetors and they and those carburetors don't really like ethanol too much. Um, ethanol is really a bad killer for those carburetors. So ethanol free is what makes them long run and um, make them spray better fuel inside the engine. Um, for um, yeah, that's about of what they do. Um, for the newer four-stroke engines, I hear that some people buy the engine and then they run them with no oil and it ends up seizing up. Reason being is because when um, they're selling, when a store is selling a manufacturer's engine that has not been used, there's no oil in them. I believe they should provide the oil for it in the box. But the reason being is that there's no oil in them. And what you want to do with those kind of engines is that since the engine is not worn down you want to keep starting the engine or when you put oil in it start the engine shut it off start the engine leave it run for a bit shut it off and restart it it's just because so you can get some wear in it some wear in it so that way you're able to rev the engine as much as you can if you want to mess with the governors and stuff but um yeah that's that's for um, the small engine world. And for the cars, you can run if you want to. Some some cars don't, some car engines don't like non-ethanol. Me, my, me personally, I have a 07 Chevy, 07 Chevy Uplander. And um, it's the flex fuel kind and I put non-ethanol in that car. And she seems not to like it. She seems to like 10% ethanol. So for now on, I've just been putting 10% ethanol in there, and she runs great. And it's okay to put ethanol in cars that are going to be run almost every day. If you're going to leave the car set, it's e I'd rather either you drain the gas or put non-ethanol gas in it if you're going to leave it sit for a bit. And uh, um, same as motorcycles. Some motorcycles might like non-ethanol if they're... Um, if they're carbureted some of them 
won't probably not like non ethanol if they're fuel injected. So, uh, also check up with the fuel injection too. It can be that the fuel injection, fuel injection does not like the non ethanol and it's not making the engine right, run right. So I would I would check that too. But ethanol is okay for the car engine world. I'm gonna say that. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. Always know to hit that bell and subscribe.